Do you have top dot commitment problems? I do. And I struggle with this a lot in my painting. You know, you've done a lot of work, you've put I don't know, sometimes thousands of dots down um, on a painting or some other design element and you're just not sure what to do next. Well, I've got a really simple trick for you that mixed media artists use that I think you're gonna like. Let's go ahead and get started and see what it's all about. So the tip is to use a piece of plastic. This is just a reuse, recycle piece of plastic that come on my cutting mats, um, but you can use it from uh, packaging, you know, if you get a package that has some kind of clear um, plastic in it, you can use that. You could try saran wrap or something like that. Um, but this works perfect. This is happens to be 12 uh, inches by 12 inches, or actually probably a little lot, lot uh, bigger than that. And then also, a page protector is perfect because you can open this up. This is just actually, it's a report cover. It's one of those report covers that had a little spine on it. And... Um, I just get them, of course, at the Dollar Tree, and they're three for a dollar, something like that. Um, you might find them cheaper somewhere else. But anyway, they open up, and so then you can get, you know, a, a slightly more than 11 inches this way, and then uh, 17, just over 17 and a half inches um, the long way. And that's great, because um, that will give you a nice surface to work with. And then, you know, it's just a matter of overlaying and painting on top, and then seeing what you think, and then you can try out a bunch of different colors. The only tip I'll give you um, if you're using this for dot painting is to make sure that your paint is really, really cured. Because if it's soft at all, and you lay this plastic on top of it, and you start to try to try out some different things, it actually has the potential to either grab onto the paint because it's not dry enough, or to flatten the paint. Um, and so you won't have that nice button dot if that's what you were looking for. So just be sure that your paint is really well cured um, before you try this technique. But this is a great way, actually, to try out some different design elements if you want to add some things or you want to try out some different color combinations for top dotting. Um, this is perfect. So let's see how this works in practice. This is the leaf mandala from my number 62 video and if you watch that video you know that I sort of debated what to do with these outside parts of the leaf. I wanted to do something but frankly after all the work I put in I was really kind of nervous about messing it up. So I tried this technique with the plastic and just drew in uh, using one of the black markers to just kind of draw in some shapes some following the kind of lines of the of the of the leaf um, and creating some smaller leaf shapes within that. And then I was able to go in and top dot and see what color top dotting I thought might look good. So here I am using the bright orange. Ultimately in the painting I decided that I would use the cranberry wine which is that dark deep red um, and that worked out better for me. So I really um, got a chance to sort of try out um, this color combination and decide I wanted to do something different. And then I thought, oh, I'll try what would it look like, what would the top dotting look like within these shapes that I had drawn. And so I'm just trying out what I think they might look like. And again, you don't have to do a lot of this, you know, you just have to try it out on a section uh, to get a sense of what you think the colors are. Or in this case, I'm adding some additional shapes by drawing them in versus just doing dotting. So it was nice to be able to to try this out and to get a sense of how it's going to look in the end. So I just keep trying out some different colors and some different combinations. And using this technique is really giving me a good sense of how the colors are going to look against each other and against the background and how the shape is going to work. And then you can see, presto, it's there and then it's not. It's there. and then it's not. So really you can try this on all different kinds of um, patterns. You know you can use it just for the top dotting to see how you think um, different colors are going to go together. If you wanted to add for example you know really take a chance and add some a totally different color than you had been using this is a nice way to kind of try it out and get a sense of how it's going to work. So ultimately uh, I decided in the painting that I was doing of this fall leaf to go ahead and use this uh, design 
and uh, try it out. And um, here I am uh, actually drawing it on the leaf. Uh, and you can see that in the previous video and get a sense of how that all came together. I was really pleased with how it, it turned out. And I was happy to have a way to try this, uh, try something out before um, I committed it to the final piece. And, um, you know, it can reduce a lot of anxiety that way. So I hope you enjoyed this little quick designer tip. Um, please let me know. Give me uh, a comment below. Let me know what you thought about this. Have you been using a technique like this? Um, and what do you think about it? So I'd really uh, be interested to hear what you have to say. Thank you so much. I'd appreciate it if you'd subscribe, give me a thumbs up, or leave a comment. Thanks everyone for joining me in my studio today. Take care.